I don't, I don't give a lot of these talks, but uh, when I do, I like to start out with a picture of a beaver carrying a severed arm. Uh, I drew this for The Onion um, in my in my normal job. I draw, uh, I draw pictures and uh, design things. Um, and what's uh, kind of ironic is that I don't actually have, I guess, a day job. I might talk about day job, but anyway. Um, so I hate getting asked the question, "What do you do?" Um, because I hate to, I hate to define myself by two things. You know, I usually say something like I'm a graphic designer, an illustrator, and that usually hits on, uh, usually riff on that, so we come to some sort of commonality, and then uh, you know. We go from there. But this is someone's actual business card, and I wish that this is what my business card looked like. You know, because when I get a business card that looks like this, not that I ever have, uh, but if I did, well, okay, I'm going too slow now. So, let me reintroduce myself to you. Uh, designer, illustrator, amateur card trick doer, HTML, CSS coder, bicyclist. Uh, I didn't do an Ironman, but I did a half marathon one time, and it was the worst experience of my life. Uh, <laughs> dancing machine. So all of these little things that make you up, these little nuggets of, of your personality, lead to side projects. And when I find that, I love what I do, but when I find that people ask me to make the logo bigger, or can we revert back to draft 23 instead of 26, I just want to go to a side project and get that creative energy out. So my first side project was called awkwardornaments.com. And uh, this is where I took those uh, really awkward family ornaments and uh, I posted them on a website. That's, uh, okay, I'm also going too slow again. But anyway, so when I launched my side project, these two other rocket designers were launching their side projects too. One was named Jessica Hish and one was named Frank Chimero. Jessica does a daily drop cap and Frank Chimero does these little funky illustrations of states uh, that he puts things in. I thought, could awkwardornaments.com be my Frank moment? Could it be my Jessica moment? These guys, these projects launched their careers. And uh, uh, I have to tell you that awkwardornaments.com did not launch career. Uh, this, uh, this is a cupcake holder. Um, no one's quite sure who made it, uh, but it is one of my family's awkward ornaments that still gets put on the tree every year. Um, so what I want to, basically, my site got 20 views uh, in two years, and I, I think most of those were my family. They loved it. They loved it. But at its core, a side project is, is something that you just want to exist. Uh, Wilson Miner is this guy who did this awesome talk at Build last year, and he basically said, we all have something that we want to make for no other reason than we just want it to exist in this world. And I think that that is a really good kind of mantra for creating a side project. Why not an awkwardornaments.com? Why not other things? And these things lead to you know, launching careers or getting publicity or not. You don't have to justify what a side project does or what it is. So this guy, Bill Cagey, um, has a day job, and he started picking up found grocery lists. The first one he found, it had milk, eggs, and vodka written on the grocery list. Fantastic. So he, so he, he started he started this uh, blog called GroceryList.org, aggregated all these grocery lists, and now he's got a book. Um, the stuff white people like guy, his name's Christian Lander. He actually graduated from IU's uh, master's in English program. You know, he basically just started this blog because he and his friends were talking about how authentic The Wire was and how only white people talk about that. And uh, basically, he started a blog and he got a book deal. It's a New York Times bestseller. And then there's this, this other guy, Jeff Mix, who, wasn't, who, who loved to write but wasn't writing enough. And so he wrote this post called In a Mass Knife Fight to the Death Between Every American President, Who Would Win and Why? And he wrote every American president out and, and listed what was good about them and what was bad and outfitted FDR with a polio awesome wheelchair to overcome his disability. Um, but anyway, so side projects also take real forms. Like Gmail was a side project and Google was a side, Google AdSense was a side project, and even the Declaration of Independence was a side project. At the time, Thomas the Declaration Jefferson was on 23 other committees and he, he really didn't want to write the Declaration of Independence because he knew that the paper wasn't important. It was the vote on the paper that was important. And so after he wrote the Declaration, it passed and became this amazing document. But think about that. That was a side project for him. Um, and Thomas Jefferson says, it is amazing how much may be done if we are always doing. So think about that sentiment for a moment. If you're always putting your effort into something, if you're not just sitting on the couch or watching TV, there is no roadmap to what's going to make a successful side project, or it doesn't even have to be successful. No, it just has to just have to want it to be there. Um, there's no roadmap to why something works or why it doesn't. Some things go viral, some don't. But the fact that you know awkwardornaments.com exists, I'm proud of that. Um, and I think that this is a room full of people who make things. And one of the most important things that we do in our lives are to go and just make stuff and share that stuff with the world. 
um, because that's what makes our world a better, more rich place. And I'm going to end with this quote by Wilson Miner again. He basically says, we get to make things and things that nudge the world a little bit in what we hope is the right direction. And I just think that's a really beautiful sentiment. So why don't we all just go out and make